Uh, biggest challenge for him, I think he's just going to go nuts, right? I mean, uh, most human beings, all human beings today are used to going to the store, they buy their food, they've got their sheets, they've got everything prim and proper. Why don't we start testing some of these Spartan elites, right? They're supposed to be tough, they do well at the races, but are they really tough? Are they like, you know, Lewis and Clark? Joe made a pretty crazy offer to me. He said, come up here, buy some land, build yourself a cabin, and you can train all you want and race all you want. And he's planning on staying here for a year to um, train for the Spartan Championships, but also uh, toughen up a little bit. But I'm tough. I mean, I spent enough time in a hospital bed wondering about what I wanted to do with my life, and then I got lucky enough to find Spartan. And suddenly, turns out I'm a pretty decent athlete, and now I hope to make an even better mountain man. Miguel definitely has some misconceptions on Vermont. First question he asks is, where's a washer and dryer? So he's qu not quite understanding that he's going to be living eight miles from town when he's asking, where's a washer and dryer? He should be asking, like, where's food, water? <laughs> <laughs>